and April is car care month. So we're going to do a series of car care tips about your vehicle and to give you some good tips on car care and show you some of the stuff that we do at the shop that, and why the repairs are required. So a lot of y'all are going to watch this on the replays. A lot of y'all will see these shared around. Yesterday we did a little video with one of my little helpers popping out of the tires. And I gave you the, um, the little tease. Do your tires affect your fuel mileage? And I say fuel mileage because whether it's a gasoline or whether it's a diesel, that's your fuel. So what's the answer? And the answer is yes, of course. And you say, okay, why? Why does your tires affect your fuel mileage? And then the biggest thing is like here in Texas, we have a lot of temperature changes. So it might be 80 degrees. And then in Texas, the next day it might be 30 degrees. Well, every time you have a 10 degrees drop in temperature, the tire pressure goes down one and a half to two pounds. So if you have... 50 degrees drop, you could actually have up to 10 pounds, 8 to 10 pounds pressure drop. So what does that have to do with your tire mileage? Well, your vehicles are all set from the manufacturer to run on a certain tire pressure. In other words, I say that tire pressure will give the vehicle the best ride. It'll give it the best mileage because Car manufacturers are worried about fuel mileage. So why should you be worried about fuel mileage? Well, right now, the price of fuel is sky high. And so it's like anything we can do to help save you a little money, to help save a little bit, is going to help. So a lot of times, if you open up your door, there's going to be a label on your door there that says what the recommended air pressure is. And so... It might say if it, they're 35. And so uh, Milton has sent us a couple of different digital air gauges. And you can see we got one here and one here. And I really like these. These are really great because you can see they have big numbers on here. So if you look on your dash, it's going to tell you on most vehicles now, it'll tell you what your tire pressure is. And then you can say, okay, and open up your door and you look at the label there. And it says it's supposed to be 35. Some of them will say 32. Some of them will say 30. Some of them will actually have different on the front and the back. It might say 32 on the front, 30 on the back. So you have to look and see what it should be. There is a rating on the side of the tire that says what the maximum pressure on this. We don't always go by that because this size tire will fit many different vehicles. So we want to look on your vehicle and see what your pressure should be and of course now we're talking about the rolling resistance that's why we want to take care of the air pressure so like i said on these that we use from milton have the big numbers and it's real easy to see so we hook it on there and we shoot it up to the right pressure we make sure and we go around and check them all because you can have one that has a little bit different pressure if you look on your dash they should all be pretty close to the same. The reason we like the digital ones is because it's easier to get this pressure if we want 35 to put it at 35 and then it comes up 35 on your dash. A lot of times the old pencil type, you kind of look at them and the numbers and the lines and stuff, you kind of get them a little different there. So we always like to use the digital air gauge whenever we're doing it here at the shop. So when you go to a shop, if you can't get to my shop, you always I always recommend go to a certified shop in your area and ask them, hey, you have the digital tire gauge. That way they make sure the pressure is right. So what else can tires affect on the fuel mileage? Like I said, the air pressure, if you're running low on air, it's going to take a little bit more to push this tire. That's affecting your fuel mileage. Now, when we talk about what else wears on it, well... We have the tools from ATEC. 
And as you can see on this particular one, I also have the tire tread dip. So what do we worry about this? Well, number one is if your TPMS light comes on on your dash and it says, hey, check your tire pressure, then, of course, we can check it with the air gauge. But also we can make sure that those sensors are working. And that's what we use this for. We can use it to check them. We can use them to service them. Well, what does service mean? It means if the gauge, if the if the sensor is worn out, we need to replace it, we can service it. But also, when you rotate your tires, you have to tell the computer on your car, we're moving this tire to the back. We're moving that back tire to the front. Otherwise, the dash will show your left front tire is low and really it might be the tire that's on the back so we can go in with this and tell the computer where these tires are so that when you're putting air in the tire you're putting air in the right tire a lot of times people don't realize that that when they get their tires rotated unless they go in and tell them where the tires are the computer still thinks it's up on the front and so you're putting air in the wrong tire the other thing that this does is with this uh, tire tread dip we can go on here and every time we service your vehicle we'll go in here and we'll register and read the tire tread now when we do this on this particular tool we're reading on the outside in the middle and on the inside and what is that for well now we're looking at the tread wear across the vehicle I can eyeball these I can look at these and if they're real bad we can say oh my gosh this is worn down on the inside. This is worn down on the outside. What that affects is your alignment. So if your alignment is off, then it's kind of like having <coughs> crooked tires. So your, your engine is trying to push crooked tires down the road. So we're scrubbing some of the rubber off of here. And when we're doing that, it's affecting how well this tire rolls. So instead of just rolling straight down the road, it's kind of... Cocked a little sideways, either tilted in, tilted out, or, or toe in or toe out, like this here. That's alignment issues. It's going to affect the wear on the tire, but it also is affecting your fuel mileage because the tire is not rolling straight down the road. And on four-wheel alignments, a lot of vehicles actually can be adjusted in the back also. So you can do a two-wheel alignment. You can do a four-wheel alignment. And like I said, by using this tool from ATEC, we're able to read across there and visually check the wear on it, which will give us an idea on the alignment. Now, this tool doesn't do alignments, and we don't have alignment right here, but that's just some of the things that are going on with your tire. So, as we're starting out in Car Care Month, I want to go on and give you some tips on how to improve your fuel mileage. First thing, check your air pressure. And uh, if you don't have an air gauge at your house, if you don't have an air, air gauge up there um, at, the, at, at the gas station where you stop, swing by the shop and we can check it for you. Uh, and like I said, if you're not close to our shop, then go buy a certified shop in your area and they're going to have the proper tools to service your vehicle and help you get the best mileage because of the fuel prices are so high. Now that's just something we're going to be concerned about all the time. Because if the tire pressure is low, it's also going to affect the wear on this tire. And then if the alignment's out, it's going to affect the wear on this tire. And you're going to be spending money unnecessarily. So we want to make sure that we get the tires to last as long as we can. But I want you to let you know how much tires affect your fuel mileage and how that can save you just a little bit of money at the pump well that's today's car care month and like uh, car care tip and like i said just watch this month we're going to be doing a series of these as always